Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to integrate a calendar on SharePoint, Teams, and Outlook. First, we'll look at adding a group calendar to a SharePoint site. Then we'll look at adding a calendar to a Teams channel. And finally, we'll show you how to add a calendar from your directory in Outlook. To add a calendar to a SharePoint site, start by selecting the site you want to add the calendar to. Then click on Edit in the top right. Now head down to the section where you'd like to add the calendar. And hover over the section, either above or below the existing content. Click the plus icon when it appears, and you should see a pop-up box containing a list of possible web parts. Scroll down the list of web parts and click on Group Calendar. Once the calendar has been added to your page, you can head up and click the Republish button. Perfect! We now have a group calendar for our SharePoint site. To add your calendar to a Teams channel, you can right-click the Create a Meeting link in your SharePoint page and copy the link address. Now open Microsoft Teams and head to the channel that you'd like to add the calendar to. There, click the plus icon at the top. Then select Website from the Apps list. If you can't see the Website app, simply type Website into the search bar. Next, enter a name at the top. Then paste your copied link into the URL box. And hit Save. Your calendar URL will be outlook.office365.com slash calendar slash group slash email address. That's it. We've successfully added our calendar to the Teams channel. To add a calendar to Outlook, start by heading over to the left menu and clicking the calendar icon. Then go down and click Show All. Browse the list of groups to see if the calendar you want is already listed. If not, click on Add Calendar. Then select Add from Directory. Now choose your account by clicking the select box at the top. Next, head down and enter the name of the group or person whose calendar you'd like to add. Select where you'd like to add the calendar to. Then hit the Add button. If the process fails, it's likely because you don't have permission to view the calendar. Perfect! We now have access to the group calendar, which is now integrated on SharePoint, Teams, and Outlook. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.